day for the next week. Massive bubbles form. <gasps> Hi everyone, me again. I'm back and I'm doing another weekly series. So every single day this week at half past four, there's going to be a brand new video on my channel. And this week I thought I'd do the weird and wonderful viral trends from 2016. So expect slime and Orbeez on all of that exciting stuff. Today I'm starting with slime and not just any slime, I'm talking Instagram slime. I'm talking about the super exciting, super satisfying slime with things in it slime and I got myself some borax. So if you've watched my other slime video, which I will leave in the description, I used um, laundry detergent because I couldn't get borax in the UK, but I got myself some borax and I'm going to be attempting borax slime today and then using that slime and doing some fun Instagram stuff. If you do find yourself enjoying it, be sure to hit that thumbs up button because it makes me super duper happy. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click that big red subscribe button so that you don't miss an upload from me for the rest of the week when I upload. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So I have a cup of water and then about half a teaspoon, that's what the instructions said, of borax, which is mixed in there and fully dissolved. I believe. I just have some very average PVA glue here. And I'm just gonna pour some into the bowl. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, and then it just says to add the borax and give it a stir. So here's some borax solution. We have some slime on the way. <laughs> I don't know if I've done this right. Um, it's not looking the most slime-like. I'm gonna add some more borax. I don't know how much borax you need to add, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more see what happens. I feel like I could be here a while. I'm adding more borax, if you can believe. It's going slimy. Ooh, that does not look like nice slime. It looks a little bit like cottage cheese. Ew. Okay, but it does say to mold it with your fingers for a while, so sleeves are going up. I don't really want to touch it. It doesn't look too satisfying. Okay, here is our slime. I'm just gonna looks really lumpy and just not the nicest. And it's not sticking too much to my hands. It seems to be getting a little less sticky as I go. Okay, I think we succeeded. I think we made some slime. I'm very happy. Look, it's lovely looking slime. Okay, so I have a few different bits and pieces to add to the slime. I have some water beads. I have some polystyrene baubles. I have some Orbeez. And then I have some pink paint and some glitter. So I've got these little water bead things. I'm not exactly too sure what they're called. I think they're water beads. I'm just gonna pour it in the slime and we're gonna give it a squish and see what happens. Ooh. Just gonna get those in there. More. We have the slime. Um, but bits and pieces just keep falling off of it. Look, if I play with it, lots of bits just fall off of it. I don't feel like I can hold this one up. They don't like it at all. They don't like being in there. Let's give this one a sound test. Are we ready? That doesn't sound crunchy at all. <laughs> it's got really sticky. I'm gonna add a little bit more borax to it. This is my slime, but It is not as crunchy as the ones that I've seen. I used the same water beads, I swear. It's just, it's not that crunchy. I'm thoroughly unimpressed. That is not as crunchy as I thought it was gonna be. I'm gonna move on. Okay, next slime. We're gonna mix some pink paint and some glitter and we're gonna see how that comes out and then we're gonna to add to it some of these little polystyrene balls. Put some pink paint in there and let's give this a stir. It's so pretty. Now, shall I go glitter before or after the borax solution? I'm gonna go with the glitter now. I'm gonna pour some in now and some if we need some more after the borax. That looks so pretty. That looks so pretty. Yay, I'm so excited for this. The glitter looks so pretty. 
Oh my goodness. This is going to be the prettiest slime I've ever seen. Okay, I'm going to add the borax solution. This does not look good. <laughs> I think maybe I added too much borax solution. Oh no. Oh look. That is not slime at all. Oh no. That's gross. Ew. Ew. I have glitter all over my hands. Can you see how glittery my hands are? I'm gonna start again on this one. But look, I have pink slime and the bowl isn't stained at all. I'm so impressed like that the pink paint has just stayed in the slime. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add the glitter and see how that goes. Okay, here goes the glitter. <laughs> that looks really pretty. So glittery and pretty. Oh my goodness. I want to add more. I want to add all of the glitter. Look, I should invent some slime highlighter. This is so pretty. And we're gonna go with some polystyrene balls. Oh my goodness. I think I just dumped in a little bit too many. This is my favorite thing ever. Oh my goodness. Look at that slime. Okay, this slime is definitely my favorite. Off camera, I've been playing with this for the last five minutes. This is the best slime. It feels so nice and it's shiny and sparkly and pink. This is just the cutest. I'm gonna have to force myself to put this to one side while I film the rest of this. And then I'm gonna sit and play with it for the rest of the evening. My hands are coated in glitter. No, that is gonna be everywhere in my bedroom. I'm gonna be finding glitter for the rest of the week now. For the rest of the year, I'm gonna be finding glitter everywhere. Okay, onto the final slime. And for this slime, I have a few little Orbeez to put in my slime. Because I want to be able to see the Orbeez in the slime, I've got myself some clear glue. So we're going to use clear glue this time and we're gonna put some Orbeez in it. That was a glue container, I promise. That doesn't look all that clear anymore. Okay, so with clear slime, apparently you meant to leave it overnight before it goes completely clear. Because as you can see with this, it's more white, it's like cloudy white, it's not really clear. You're meant to leave it overnight. So I thought I'd leave it for a little bit to see if it would go a little bit clearer. And in the meantime, I mixed up a purple, a blue and a pink slime. And I'm going to attempt to mix them together to make unicorn slime. So, here goes. Roll them together, I guess. <laughs> I'm not too sure how this works. Oh my goodness. That is so slimy. <gasps> Look at the colors. That's so pretty. I left the slime for quite a while, but it won't go clear. It's like this still. It's partially clear, and if I do this, then it's see-through, but it's not really clear. I've seen people use this slime, and they stretch it like this, and then they do this, and like massive bubbles form. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I was not expecting that to actually work. <laughs> well, this video just got a whole lot more exciting. What just happened? Oh, it popped so soon. Oh, they pop so soon. Oh, it popped so soon. I can't get it to do it again. That first one was total fluke. Okay. All these, I'm just gonna fold them in. Okay, this is not, they're just gonna pop out everywhere. <laughs> no, come back. The Orbeez are in the slime, but they just keep wanting to pop out. They do not want to stay in there at all. I'm gonna put this in a bowl and see if I can add some more. Okay. <laughs> they do not want to stay in the slime at all. <laughs> this is a, uh how we're currently looking. We've got some Orby slime, but, oh, I caught it. But they, uh, I 
just falling out everywhere. They do not like being in this slime. This is definitely a slime that has to be in a container when you play with it. You cannot lift this up and play with it because they are going everywhere. They just pop out the whole time. So highly unimpressed with that one. This has to be my favorite. This is amazing stuff. I'm so happy with it. And I'm definitely gonna be playing with this for the rest of the evening. Now, I have a whole ton of mess to clean up, but I really do hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up for me if you did. And I will see you again tomorrow at 4.30 for another testing video. Bye.